Today we are at one of our esteemed resellers in Denmark in their showroom and we have a manual camera, we have two robotic cameras and they are hooked up with the Skahoy C10 remote over here. On top of the manual camera we also have a multi-viewer, so this is essentially a one-man band production. If you look at the C10 remote, we have input buttons 1, 2, 3, 4, which puts a source on preview. We have auto and cut button, we have a joystick for controlling the robotic cameras, a button to select presets on the robotic cameras, and a mode selector for PC set mode. So for one-man band production, you have the manual camera, for instance, to follow a speaker or to make some close-ups. You have regular zoom control over here on the right handle, but on the left handle you have a Skahoy C10 remote and with this you are also the producer of the show. You can select which input is on preview and you see it all on the multi-view up here. So when you do the show you can operate the manual camera, you can prepare a shot with the robotic cameras on preview and if you look at the remote you can see that currently there is um, a text here telling me there is no PTZ camera on preview, but if I press 3, on input number 3, I have a robotic camera, so it gives me an option of selecting a preset, for instance, and by pressing this button, you see that I toggle through different preset options, and the preset is loaded, you can see on the multi-viewer that the camera adjusts to that preset, and then you have the ability to also adjust the preset just a little bit, before you decide to press the cut button and bring it live. So your producer, you have control over two other cameras and the manual camera right here. We also integrated a very nice workflow for putting sources on program. Instead of having to reach out for the cut button, you can just press and hold and you'll see when you press and hold the button, the first thing it does is it puts it on preview, but if you press and hold, it's like making a cut after a second or so. You can also store presets on the fly because a central idea of operating the two robotic cameras is that you use presets because it's really difficult to be one operator for two robotic cameras and really control PCZ with a joystick. But using the presets and intelligently program them is the essence of what you do here. So you can select, for instance, a preset here. If you think that this preset should be adjusted a little bit, the cool thing is this. Now, just look. We have a preset, it's, it's going in here. I decide that I want to bring it a little bit to the side and that's a better position for my preset. Now, look at what I do on the button. I press and hold the button, it will store the preset in preset bank number two and bang, that is for using next time. So it's a really um, dynamic workflow you can have with this solution. Um, the button you see just next to the preset button is uh, selecting whether the joystick will be a uh, pan or tilt operation or if you have a pan uh, and zoom operation and it's all shown with nice graphics so it's really user friendly and easy to use. Um, yeah, we also uh, thought about one thing because um, if, if you press and hold this button and you want to, to do uh, cuts uh, to program there's this delay of one second but we integrated this feature when you press and hold the cut button, you enable a special mode which is directed to program. So now as, as you press the buttons you see that instantly that source goes to program and uh, if you press and hold that source is brought to preview. So this is our vision how a Skahoy C10 remote can be the centerpiece of a one-man band video production still having three camera angles to obtain a really dynamic show but only one man operating the whole thing.